Hey my friend, today I'm gonna show you how you can create a vintage, lo-fi, retro synth-like tone with your guitar. So I made a song last Friday and I anticipated that uh, you would ask me how to make this kind of sound. So this sounds like this. So this is the, the lead tone on that backing track here. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And if you don't have the same pedals as I have, it doesn't matter, you just need to have the right effects. So to create that sound, we're gonna need four different pedals, a delay, a reverb, a distortion, and a vibrato pedal. So let's start with the easiest one, which is the delay. So what I need is just to have a basic standard delay with a medium mix. So uh, on my El Capistan, the mix is at noon and a lot of repeats. So that's gonna sound like this. So we're gonna use that to wash the sound down, right? To get more depth of sound with the delay here. And I'm using a uh, tape echo style of echo, but it's even better if you can use an analog one to get more warmth and a round sound. So uh, if you have an analog delay, it's even better for that. Then we're gonna add some reverb on it to get more sustain and more depth. So I'm using my Strymon Big Sky here, but what matters is that you can have a very, very long reverb. So uh, in my case, it sounds like this. So on this one, it's a decay of about six seconds. And once again, the, mi the mix of the reverb is at noon. Because you don't wanna drown your dry signal by having too much mix, but you want a very, very long decay so that you get more sustain. Because if you want a, a synth-like tone, your guitar alone, just naturally fades out. It doesn't last like you put your finger on a key of a keyboard and it, it sustains forever, but it's not like it on guitar, right? So unless you're using an Ebo or some kind of string sustainer, you have to use a reverb that's gonna sustain the, so the sound for a long time. So like I said, six seconds DK in my case and a medium mix at noon. So when I play just one note, It stay, stays there for, for a long time. And when I add the delay too, it's even better. So when I'm playing a melody with my synth-like tone, that's gonna be long enough to go to the next note of my melody, right? Then, uh, those are just to wash it down, but the two main pieces are the distortion and the vibrato. So for this distortion here, I was using the new neighbor Neuron, and it sounds like this. So in my case, what's important is that I maxed out the gain on the pedal. So a an overdrive pedal is not gonna be enough. You really need that distortion and aggressive. <laughs> Something that's gonna have a big envelope on the sound and be very aggressive. That's what you need with your pedal. And I kept the lows at the middle and I rolled off some of the mids and some of the highs on it. So like I said, you want a rounder, warmer tone because that's that can be very piercing if you have an aggressive distortion. So even on my backing track here, I could have made a better job to filter more of the highs. That could have been less aggressive, so I could roll off the highs. So if you have a distortion pedal that has EQ built in, and that can be very aggressive, that's the best choice you can get. 
in that case. So when I put the delay and the reverb with the distortion, it sounds like this. So we already have a lot of what we need to get this type of tone, but the last piece is to use a vibrato modulation pedal. So in my case, that's gonna be the Strymon Ola here. So basically, you wanna have a kind of filter on your sound that's gonna move and that's gonna be really deep, something that's gonna sound like whoa, 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 like this, right? So the vibrato is perfect for it because it sounds really vintage. So on my pedal here, I have the mix maxed out at 100%, the depth maxed out also, and I have a low medium speed. So the, the vibrato alone sounds like this. Right, you want a low medium speed so that you get a instead of and it just sounds like a toy, right? <laughs> So that's about, and if you have a chorus or vibrato or some kind of modulation pedal, you wanna max out everything, the mix, the depth, so that it's as deep as it can get. So when you combine that with a lot of gain, it sounds like this. And then with the delay and reverb, you have the complete sound here. So that's how you get that vintage kind of sound with a delay, reverb, distortion, and vibrato. And in my case, in my chain, the distortion is first, then the vibrato is second, the delay is third, and the reverb is fourth. But you could experiment with the order of the pedals to get different reverbs. You could put your delay after your reverb, or you could put your vibrato last, or things like these, just to experiment with the order. Maybe you could get even better results. So if you like this video and you want to learn more about ambient guitar, I have a gift for you. I am offering for free my mini course on how to get started playing ambient guitar. You can get that first link in the description box. This is a 45 minutes mini course divided into three modules and the goal is to get you started looping and creating ambient guitar music with delays and reverbs and stuff like this. So if this is something you'd like to learn, go on the first link in the description box, click on it and enroll for free. This is my gift to you for watching my videos. So thanks you very much and until next time, au revoir.